The exhibition hashtag what were you wearing is extremely very well thought out and very well put together and I'm so delighted that I that I came to see it and to read the stories of what the victims went through. And you can't actually help but feel the emotion of, of what some of the, the victims went through when you read their stories. I mean, stories um, being told by the victims ranging from young and old. And the one of the baby, the, the two weeks old baby who was raped, that one just really cracked me up. I was really, really hurt. You know, a lot of emotion goes through you. There's anger, there's hurt, um, there's resentment, you know. And then when I read what the, some what the victims went through, then I then I read on the other side um, the stories of those who are the perpetrators. But then I was like, okay, I don't actually want to read about what the perpetrators have to say, but I'm just more interested in what the victims went through because it was just e extremely, extremely, and emotionally moving. Truly, truly, quite profound. And I hope that this exhibition can be taken to the people on the grassroots level. The people in the communities need to see this exhibition and it'll be really great if, this, um, if the stories could be told in different languages. And, 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 I, and I will definitely make sure that some of my colleagues will also come and have a look at this exhibition. Um, one cannot but help but feel so sorry for, for what the victims went through. And as a police officer, you know, I, I actually had to, to, to just stop thinking of the fact that I have to be strong sometimes. Okay, I'm not in uniform now, but most of the times we are told to be very strong. Um, but now, today, tonight, when I read the stories, I was, I was extremely heartbroken.